Fuel duty will be frozen at this week's budget for the 10th year running in a major victory for the Sun's legendary keep it out. Boris Johnson said, I firmly believe that the economic recovery is going to be powered by white van man amongst Blue Circle, and the Sun understands that means freezing the hated levy at 57.95p per liter after plans to hike it were abandoned amid fears it would punish drivers who are helping the country bound. At the weekend Chancellor Rishi Sunak insisted, I would like to be able to keep taxes low for being a conservative and I believe in that. And a Treasury source said, throughout this crisis the Chancellor has protected the wallets of hard-working Sun readers and that will continue with this budget of this stunning victory for hard-pressed drivers, who already pay the most for the pumps in Europe, comes after a decade of campaigning by Fair Fuel UK and Tory MPs led by powerful backbencher Robert Mr. Halfin said, a big thank you to the Sun Keep It Down campaign and Fair Fuel UK and he said the move shows cutting the cost of living isn't just a slogan but a meaningful pledge from Boris. Millions of motorists will breathe a big sigh of relief as the Chancellor has recognized Howard Cox, founder of Fair Fuel UK, said, motorists, van drivers and truckers across the UK will be thrilled at this decision and they will hope this is just the start of more pro-motoring policies to the cost of navigating our roads remains the highest in the world and drivers still feel demonized for all environmental ills, but continuing the cap on duty the sun says we are delighted Rishi Sunak has seen sense on freezing fuel tax, like three Tory chancellors but they all like to moan that the sun's decade-long keep it down campaign cost them a fortune and lost rabbit it is only true if you disregard the savings drivers plow back into the economy. Hiking fuel tax in tomorrow's budget would have been a break on growth we've known, especially with COVID making Brits wary of public transport and even